It's something like what you see people do on Scrappy Challenge, where they take a car apart and they uh, put the engine on the top and so on, and make it drive underwater or whatever. Um, it's taking a piece of engineering and rearranging its modules to do something uh, novel and, and unique. It's got a nice tone, it's got little tunes, some pretty mental sound effects. It's a disregard for warranty stickers. Yeah. <laughs> and put it in its simplest form. Um, the way we've been brought up with electronics is that it has that sticker on the back that says if you open this case then the world will end. And in a lot of cases that's not really true. It's a big lie. No user serviceable parts inside is basically if this breaks you've got to buy a new one. <laughs> It's a kind of social perversion. So it's a bit like, um, I don't know, knocking on yeah. someone's door, not just running away, but like leaving a mannequin with their face on it. You know, being a weirdo with things that don't understand themselves. Just to kind of like demonstrate how you might uh, like start us off, there's two ways to do it really. You can either use like these little kind of probing leads. I mean, this is kind of recommended when you get into any of the the larger equipment like keyboards and things because like a lot of these Chinese companies tend to use uh, sketchy chemicals and things when they're actually making you know millions of circuit boards a day. So uh, it's a good thing to keep your fingers off the board and actually use these. The, the other way is which is perfectly fine with these little toys is just to kind of like wet your finger um, and explore the circuit board by kind of making connections in that way. Why don't you get some sound out of this? There we go. So immediately we're hearing some pretty garbled stuff. You wanted to know the reason why you kind of hear those kind of changes. Um, when when I was touching it with my finger, uh, the body actually has a kind of electrical um, electrical charge itself and also electrical resistance. So when I'm wetting my finger and touching the circuit board, as as you know, um, water is a as you should know, water is a really strong conductor of electricity. Um, as is the body, because it's like what is it? Uh, I'm not going to give a percentage because I'll get it completely wrong, but it's, it's um, your, your body's like mostly made up of water. So you're hearing a change in electronic resistance. Uh, all these points, can I get this back out? Come on. All of these components on the circuit board, these little kind of, um, what colour is that? These kind of brownie, creamy uh, things are, are resistors, which kind of uh, choke electronic current to an extent. And... Like I said, your body also holds um, a certain resistance. So when you're kind of crossing these points, you're essentially you're, you know you're adding or taking away from the resistance of the circuit. This this, for instance, plays back these little crappy guitar samples um, at a certain speed, and there might be a resistor in there which is actually controlling the speed that, that plays back. In fact, I'd say there is a resistor in there which controls how the speed plays back, as there is in most of these toys. And if you can actually find that specific point and you can cross it with your finger, um, with your saliva, then you know, you're, you're going to be able to alter that. It's very much um, a kind of particular um, musical aesthetic, I guess, 
uh, in wanting to um, wanting to find that new sound. <laughs> you know, but I basically um, I, was, I was really into the sound of things going wrong. I was really into, like I said, glitch music. Um, and the thing that really attracted me to these toys is that you you'd get lots of interesting digital sounds out of them. And I think that's what I really wanted to achieve. I wanted to kind of really build my own my own instruments that would produce this kind of um, yeah this kind of bizarre electronic noise that I could then work with. a way to play around with play around with electronics, uh, experiment with new sounds and new ways to create new sounds out of old things. So sort of recycling? Yeah, I like the recycling side of it. I like um, sort of taking things that have been discarded and normally and no one would normally want these things but I found like an extra use for them then. But yeah. And I hate landfill, so yeah, it's <laughs> good in that sense. Awesome. Um, tell us a little bit about your, your music that you produce. Uh, I've been producing dance music for quite a long time, um, maybe 15, 16 years. Um, releasing as Kickflip at the moment, and in breakbeats on that sound. Uh, that came out catapult. <laughs> <laughs> 